Servus. Feels good to be back. Today I do have something interesting I want to share with you. Well, <laughs> you've already read the title of the video unless I decide to name it something differently. Right boys. Today I am going to show you the most fun Soulgut strat. It's a strategy that I like to play, like to do every few months. I've done it like seven times because it's just so absolutely boring. Fun. <laughs> Worlds <laughs> are hard, man. <laughs> Feels like I just had a concussion. First off, Kharkov, Stalingrad, build civ factories. They have 80% infrastructure, that's always good. Then we only care about one truck, and then we can dump the rest on big gun and smaller gun. Group up the navy. Although, <laughs> it's a Russian navy, we might as well sink it in the Pacific. But today, we actually do have a task for our navy. And then, pff, army, just uh, same strategy I always do. Just mash. Reorganize the armed forces as well. Army, Navy, Industry, Research, Focus, everything is set up. Start the path of Marxism, Leninism, which also means this here boy is going to get a little bit paranoid. Jesus, fuck, I'll never learn. Justify in Turkey because they are going to remilitarize these dear straits and I don't like that. We are of course sticking with Stalin because Stalin is fun. Just look at him. This boy knows what fun is. So long as your definition of fun is to work in Gulag with no food of course. Wait, he has negative autonomy? I never knew. I only knew that he has the father of nations which he's been a very bad father of nations if I'm being honest. Huh, not much different than mine now that I think about it. And of course, we are going to mobilize the armed forces immediately. Wait, we only have three? We can only pick three? I get that all of these are different paths and some of them unlock later and all, but three at the very beginning seems very low. Either way, time for the Zvizhizhgo. A, B, Z. Always go dispersed. Oh, Novikov. Novikov is based. Ah, fuck it, let's just get Timoshenko. We can let this event stay just to get a bit more paranoia ticks. There we go, we have 50%, but we need more than 50%. Oh, technicalities. My worst enemy. We can go war kill me in 1956. And we're already doing better than Stalin did at this time. We can tell Stalin about some tanks we designed just so he doesn't start shooting people. Why are you repairing? Did some fisher boats attack you or? <laughs> There we go. We can end the League of Nations, declare war on Turkey for remilitarizing the Straits. We should have every superiority that we that we have. We landed in Turkey <laughs> and the Turks just left the front line. Uh, if possible, we can cut off traps on. Oh yes, they are all encircled. Let's see if we can cause some more havoc on these front lines. Actually, I'm gonna try and cut off with these and you can just keep on snaking. This for the Romanian front lines. Oh my god. We're just walking around them and it works. Oh nice, we actually did in circle. There's nobody here. And you can just walk here as well. Boom, <laughs> we just encircled. But the AI did not. Whatever, that's fine. Okay, we have 36. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Considering a 36 paranoia right? Oh my god! Every single focus in the game just got completed at the same time. It's almost as if they have all the same duration. Plan is, I'm just gonna play very historically. I'm just gonna wait until Germany does something. Because that's, honestly, that's a very fun way to play the Soviets in my opinion. Which sounds weird since it does involve just waiting in a Paradox game. Or in Hotswan in particular. I forgot about focus! No! Not the focus! Let's boost some communism in Saudi Arabia because a communist oil baron really does sound like something that should exist. And we have Lithuania. Latvia will most likely also join us voluntarily. There we go. Completely voluntarily they joined. Don't you fucking dare you pigeon. I can see you. And you know I can see you. Yeah, oh my god, you are. Yusuf Salman, Yusuf. You look like a good guy. Can't imagine you being a bad guy. Technically, we could also have justified on Austria. Actually, I should try that at some point. With this strat, I'm just trying to have an incredibly weak Germany. Simply because I just find it hilarious when they, when you're just standing there as your big bear and then Germany is coming there with the squeaky Isabel hammer from Smash Brothers. And just like, <laughs> and you're just there. Yeah. Why 
I should have I should have just pretended to do this, man. <laughs> that actually hurt. Yo, what? Already? No! I'm not gonna shoot Yagoda in 1936. Oh, Jesus. I'm getting some very bad events here. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! What is this? My Stalin's beard. I'm not gonna have anything. <laughs> I already have two anti-Soviet military thinking stats. In case it wasn't obvious by now, this is indeed my definition of fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait a little bit here. War Econ. Now we can shoot Trotsky. Sure, I'm gonna join the non-intervention committee. It's the non-intervention committee of Spain, you know? I'm still allowed to shoot my own people and the people around me. And I think it's time to start some Middle East diplomacy, unless I have enough factories now. Nope, yeah. Middle East diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> if we take a single tile, Romania might just capitulate. Ah, uh, never mind, it did not at all. UK, why? But that's like so cringe. Ah, uh, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. I also want to at least have a little bit of a challenge for this video. You know, if it, if it just ends with me beating up the Germans without any resistance, then like, what's the point? I'm not coping, okay? I'm not coping. I would never. It's not a huge deal. The main part of the strat still works. The thing that I really liked about the strat was you could just cuck the Germans so incredibly hard that they couldn't do anything anymore. They don't have oil anymore. If you get hungry as well, they don't have any aluminum anymore. And then they just, like, they just fall over. Ah, oh, Rokosovsky already. Uh. I'm a savior boy. Two more focuses, so infrastructure effort and the other effort. In the meantime, high yields, young builders of communism. Let's go in. You boys move. Ah, I forgot. I forgot to set the order. That's why I didn't move. In terms of the Turkish lines, they are looking decently, but that's gonna change in just a minute. Yeah, let's attack with a tank. That was a great idea. But I'm gonna use force attack for you as well. Just to make it easier, we should be able to do it without it. But hey, when in Rome, bang Caligula. Evgeny, that sounds like a right guy. Ah, he's left. Still, you can be shot. And we can start this front line since they just repositioned a bunch of their troops into a little front line that we just made up. The red arrows, they are good because we are communists. We like the red. Then workers dictatorship, leave that event ticking, get 2% more. Not gonna get the picture of Marx today. I do not think that is fun, right? I'm, I'm playing a fun. Um, this is all I'm doing is fun right now. I do have the communist manifest behind me, but that's beside the point. I don't have a picture of Marx himself yet, you know? Then let's go down to our industry tree and fix a little bit of the industry. And you just... Oh, just finish it, please. You can just take Istanbul, there's nobody here. There we go, Constantin Istanbul is ours. We will not take Turkey, we will puppet them, get war reps and resource rights, and of course, their precious navy. I shall spoil something here. The reason why you puppet Turkey is that Turkey can form the Mediterranean Entente, or whatever they called it, and invite Italy into their faction, even though they are a puppet. They don't invite them to the common turn, but to their own faction, and they're no longer part of the common turn, but they're still your puppet. As sadly, they didn't do it in this game, but in an earlier version of this strat with the old world tension system, you could just completely isolate Germany. You take Hungary and Romania, Turkey then invites Italy into a separate faction, which mainly just means they won't join Germany, and if you want to, you can also clamp down on Yugo and Bulgaria with your Balkan influence focuses, and then Germany has no allies other than Slovakia as a puppet. As for Romania, if you leave them be, they will just cause trouble, so just annex them. When can we shoot the next guy? Uh, half the focus, okay. National specialists. It's so, this one is so insane. You just get 20% research speed and one of these two buffs. One thing I also like to do sometimes is go down the common turn path and then you just take Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan into your faction. But it's a little bit RNG heavy since if they go down neutrality focus, you pretty much can't get them anymore. Like, you can still flip them. Jesus. Uh, you can still flip them, but if they flip at a bad time, they might just be like, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna join you, why would I? Oh god, that costs... I never knew it costs command power. Five command power was always so small, <laughs> like, you always have it. And with that, we have survived the political paranoia system. Soon we can start actually doing something with our mighty industry. 
but I still want to feel more civilian factories. We only have 120. And since we're the Soviets, we know that we will have time until the war starts. I, I've i never seen that. I've never seen them go down interventionism. Now I kind of wish I <laughs> went down the Middle East diplomacy. That way I could already have them. Okay, it's almost 1939. It's go time, boys. Time to build a few military factories. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, right. <laughs> I first need to assign flamethrowers and now I can turn you into flame tanks. Weird, huh? Okay, let's get the common turn going. See if we can expand the faction a little bit, which also means get an agency going. Oh, we're winning. We also want two more propaganda tanks, right? At least 10 propaganda, yep. Okay, let's get just some random ones going on. Fuel probably won't be a problem. Oh god, I... Knock on fake wood. Actually, you know, diplo pressure doesn't do anything here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We need to improve relations. Is it new? I feel like that's new that they display what the faction, what your ideology does. <laughs> Wait a minute, I can return this territory to Poland and then the Germans are just gonna rush in again. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, what am I looking at? I want to look. At, seriously, I'm looking for something right now, but my brain just zoned out. Probably because of all the brain damage I got from these hoy challenges. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for Baltic self determination, just because it's quicker, and we can get this first five. 1941. Nine. 1940. Ooh, that's even better. Honestly, we only really care about Bulgaria and Yugoslavia here. I can never remember which one is which of these two focuses. And every single time I picked the wrong one. Oh, you also went down this path. What is wrong this game? Okay, Estonia. Hello, nurse. The commandant grows. That's ultimatum Bulgaria. Yeah, that, like that's so bullshit. With those ultimatums, you don't even get a war goal. That's why I don't like that one. And now we can fix our most of our military, our ground forces. Since we will need to be at war. For desperate measures, welcome Iran. Ah, but we're pretty protected. We're almost the Soviet Union. And we can still get Karelia, which is kind of cool if the Germans push you back in. But I don't plan on getting pushed back in. Oh, I will not get Karelia. At least not yet. All right, we can also get limited conscription now that I just dumped in so many more divisions. I'm gonna make a front line across the river. Ah! Ah, if you only you submitted to me, Hugo. You'd still be alive. Not really. I'd be at war with the Axis and you'd be freed sooner. Ew! Ew! Why did you turn Yugoslavia into a tumor? Italy doesn't even have Croatia. Oh, well, Dalmatia. It's just a tumor for Hungary at this point. The Yanks are coming. And I still don't have any planes. Ah! Perfect timing, Latvia. I already forgot about you, but I'm still happy that you're here. We definitely do need desperate measures so we can get lessons of war. Do we, though? I mean, desperate measures are still fine. We will need to defend a little bit until we can get our fighters going. Of which we have a whopping zero right now. But hey, we're working on Cass. It's 50 more days. And I'd also like to get limited conscription. And then I still need to fix my military stuff. Okay, uh, one thing I will do is get Popov in power. He's gonna be very useful for the early part of this journey. Desperate measures. Now they're trying to bump into us and they will probably succeed because we only have our crappy fighters up. But the Soviets will hold for the motherland calls. Hey, the troops are still holding fairly well. I had to jinx it, right? I just had to say it. Let's try and pin you, I suppose. This is not efficient at all, but we do need fighters. I will just pick a god and pray that you don't screw yourself over with this. Around 3k planes for the Axis. Wait, what? Why is there a Vichy French division in my land? I'm at war with your friends. I didn't tell you. You don't have mill access. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about manpower. One thing I can do is disband a few of those divisions. The numbers are slowly getting where they should be in the green for me. And I think the German push has also been halted. I almost clicked war bonds, but I do have something else I want to get for real this time though. Yeah, okay, uh, for once, I really don't think you should call yourself Greater Hungary. Yeah, th that's Greater Albania. Do you still have planes? What? I only have, okay, 700 planes at this point. But still, 700 planes is not... I only destroyed 7,000 planes and you stopped already? Huh? What's going on here? I think I'm just gonna 
plunk down some cast and see what happens? I don't think they're being honest with me right now. I know the German AI, they don't just send 7,000 planes at you and then stop. End of me. Okay, that's fine. In the meantime, I think we can start looking into a little problem. He's just trolling me, there's no way he only has 400 planes left. He's just pretending that he has lost all his planes. Oh god, logistics should just shred them, they don't have any trains. The Italians don't have any trains. 70 to 100. Cautionary push, just see, just rile them up a little bit. Especially since the Germans, yeah, they just switched to service by requirement. Yeah, we're pushing in Poland, not in the Balkans though. And there's only two divisions here, okay. If you think that's what you need to defend yourself, then I guess I'm not the AI. I'll just keep on pushing, like, send in as many troops as you like, it won't matter. There we go, we actually overrun. With infantry, just look at them, always losing their hats. Those idiots, they should just strap them on, then they wouldn't lose them. This is so cool about Hearts of Iron, there is not enough aluminium on the battlefield. It is impossible to simulate the amount of airplanes that were produced in World War II with the map of Hearts of Iron 4 because there are not enough airplanes on the map. Uh, aluminum slots on the map. Iraq? Thank god I didn't invite you. I mean, if you only listened to me, this would not have happened to you. You would be part of the common term and you are also... Ah, fine. Oh, we're pushing the Germans so far away. And Hungary is still holding. Ah, we can't take Koppelsrachen. Hungary is gone. Germany is gone. Oh god, there's so many front lines. Just delete them, seriously, please. Just let them re-bo- Red- Let them re- I ruined it. How's Strotsky doing? Did he get my gift? Oh, maybe. Oh, he got my present. Nice. Oh my god, they got so much. Seriously, they- Hold it! Why is Portugal in the common turn? I didn't invite them and nobody declared war on them. Did Paradox fix the Turkish focus tree and now they invite people into their own faction that Turkey is in instead of uh, forming the broken covenant of the Mediterranean? But that doesn't make sense because you cannot do this unless the AI is cheating, which they often do. But that's the only way you can get Portugal into the faction with Turkey and well, it can't have been Iran or Afghanistan and <laughs> I don't know why the Baltics would influence Portugal. So it has to have been Turkey, but that's only through this focus, which I wish I had a different save instead of this one, you know, one where Portugal is already in the faction. Honestly, I, I think the AI can just bypass this focus and then they just invited Portugal into the common turn. What the? I, I mean, Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Too many things happened just now. I played historically, except for declaring war on Turkey. I didn't even mess with the Middle East or with the Baltics, like I just promoted communist support and that's it. And that butterfly effect made it so there was a nationalist uprising in South Africa. Like that's just a basic civil war. They went down historical, but they still got a civil war. Why did the French scuttle their fleet? Germany does not exist anymore. Neither does Vichy France. What did you scuttle your fleet for? Okay. <laughs> because they had still had so many points left, I was waiting for this screen to never appear in this game. Because then it'd be like, okay, yeah, hmm? they control enough victory points, even though they don't control any victory points anymore. I feel like I selected Puppet for the Netherlands and Denmark and Poland. There we go. Uh, that is my favorite type of Iron Curtain. Yeah, that's... This is how you build an Iron Curtain. You just have faction members and then your own... I don't even want to talk about it.